good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel it's a beautiful morning and i'm just trying to water these plants that my kids brought from school they've been having this amazing project which we actually didn't know about but it's so beautiful to know that the school helps them to know how to uh, plant the plants the seedlings and of course take care of them and they brought it home and we are just trying to take care of them these are the beans and it's just beautiful honestly i'm not a plant person and i'm hoping that uh, we will be able to take care of it well so far so good and if you have any tips of taking care of them other than putting water and uh, ensuring that it's on the sunlight you just let me know how to go about it because i find i feel like it's gonna be a tough ride but it's something that i want to embrace and also be able to teach them and of course take care of them because this is part of god's creation Also, we are in summer already. The kids closed school last week on Wednesday and they are going to be home for the next uh, two months. They are opening in September and there's a lot to be done honestly. Whenever they are home, I try as much as possible to keep them busy, to keep them um, doing creative things, you know, and not just be on the screens and all that. So I'm glad that we've been able to create those structures and it's so easy right now to just uh, work with them. Also, they've gotten used to, to the patterns and that is really helpful for me for this summer and we also signed them up for school camp so they'll be going for school camp for two hours a day in the morning and come back which will really help with our timetable planning so basically what they'll be doing is um going for the camp and of course being back by around 11 a.m and doing a homework which they were given by their teachers from school they have some bit of work also from church they have toys to play with they have we also bought them some books especially the crosswords we bought them a lot of them and some coloring books which they really enjoy doing and something else that i really really love is they've developed um a liking for reading my two sons love reading a lot they something that the school has really helped with and they are enjoying it they do this every night before they go to bed and they do it on their own once in a while we do read together so it's so easy right now to just manage them and supervise them and we are also trying to train them to be independent to do things without being told and all that like waking up praying before getting out of bed um spreading their bed taking a shower in the morning before breakfast cleaning up ensuring that their room is clean when they play with the toys doing homework without being told and we always tell them that when they do the right thing and act responsibly that reward comes and rewards are things like um using uh, a phone or a tablet um, yeah, during the day of which we normally do actually once a week and that is Sunday if you've been following my videos then you would know that I do share this a lot and right now because it's a holiday we are trying to change the rules a little bit we're trying to be as flexible as possible for them so if they act more responsibly and take care of themselves and their stuff easily then the reward could be having a chance to use their tablets for one to two hours a day you know or us going to the park within the vicinity of where we live and having them play for one hour or going to the swimming pool and let them swim for one hour basically we are trying to train them that whenever you do something there's a consequence and the consequence can be good or bad you know bad means you can be grounded for a few minutes or being denied to go out and do something like everyone else is doing and it's really being 
a habit right now which is really really helpful and i'm hoping that you're gonna have a good summer we're gonna uh, create a lot of memories we're gonna enjoy our time together before they resume school again Honestly, right now, if I would rate myself, I would say I'm in my lazy girl era. I feel like things are not moving the way I want them to move. I don't know if you guys have ever been in the same space. You just feel like you don't want to do anything. Nothing gives you motivation to do what you've been doing or anything you set your mind to do. You don't feel like working. You don't feel like um, going to the gym. You know, I used to go to the gym every single day for five days a week and nowadays i just do maybe two days or three days a week i used to exercise a lot i used to follow a very tight meal plan right now i'm not as much you know things are going slow and honestly it doesn't disturb me as much because i know it's a season and it's passing and for now i'm just looking on ways i can just um focus and just go through this season i just don't want it to slide just like that i just want to face it as it is and just find ways to embrace it and work things around it find best ways basically to work my way around it so that next time i'm in such a season again it's gonna be easy because i've been there before you know before i would just do my things i would um i would watch a movie i would just feel so low i would feel so lost and i didn't know what to do and it would beat me up as much but right now i have developed different ways of just working around it and it's really amazing when you know how to face such a season hopefully i'll be sharing the tips on my next video on how to just go about your lazy girl era or your lazy mom era or if you are a guy you're a lazy guy era you know it's so easy and i'm hoping that by the time i get to share this i'm really hoping i'll share this in the next video so i don't want to promise but if i do i'm just hoping that the points or the tips i'm gonna share with you guys are going to be helpful to help you go through such a phase and if you know any other tip that you basically use when you are in such an 
a face but do let me know in the comment section because i would really borrow some idea or two no one is perfect i'm not perfect and i am always relying on learning so many great things from the people around or just by reading books and all that so basically that's where i am and <laughs> we take one day at a time as they see right now i'm just focusing on just you know focusing on the gold focusing on jesus reading books um my coach sent me a book uh to read and it's what i'm reading i'm also reading a book i think two books with my husband at the moment and there's also another one that we are doing together for a particular class and it's really amazing it's helping me get through the weeks uh, one step at a time so that's where i am as a person basically Finally guys, a lot has really been happening in my country Kenya, uh, especially this month of June. Thank God we are in July and it's a new month. Happy new month by the way. I hope you've started well and I hope that July will bring all the good tidings from above and from the universe and in your life, whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been wishing for, I pray that the universe aligns in your way. And I hope that God favors you and favors your family at, uh, at a whole, you know. Yeah, so I really hope that even in our country, I mean, just everything that has been happening, I'm really hoping that this new month will bring good news and positive impact um, to our youths, from our leaders. And I hope that God is going to use our leaders to see uh, and hear the cries of um, their people, you know, and bring the change that we want to see. A lot has been happening. Businesses stopped. Businesses were destroyed and some people lost their lives fighting for the rights of um, the citizens and it's so sad and my condolences to the families that lost their loved ones and the, the, the painful part is seeing even young kids those who are five years 12 years dying for our country you know dying um painfully because they they never they never saw that coming you know and it's painful for the parents i know i can't imagine putting myself in their shoes i know and i can't even fathom how much pain they are going through you know during this time and i'm really hoping that they find peace and comfort from the lord and it is so sad that 
normally this has been a norm in our country we elect leaders and they promise us that they're gonna make reforms uh, great things that are gonna help us especially the youth you know and whenever they go to to that office they sit there comfortably and they forget about the cries of their people and they forget about the people who actually put them there in that office and they start being selfish they start being hungry for money and corrupt and they just focus on themselves you know and all they do is steal and take and take and never give it is so sad i am not i'm not interested in politics i never comment on political issues in fact when you find find me in a conversation where people are talking about politics i would be the quiet one because it's never never at all never my interest but this time i feel like it's really hit home and it's so sad because people went to the streets to demonstrate peacefully and the government decided to just take matters into their own hands and they started shooting people people who didn't even have weapons you know in the first place all they had was flags and themselves you know just demonstrating peacefully and it is so sad that some of the um, police used force by shooting and killing them on the spot and I saw crazy, crazy videos and crazy pictures of my country and my heart was in so much pain and I prayed to God and I'm hoping that even as we do that, things are going to change, you know, it is so sad and I hope this will be an awakening call for our leaders, it will be an awakening call for uh, the citizens of Kenya, especially the youths who are the majority, that next time whenever when we do the elections, we are going to choose the leaders wisely. One thing I loved about this uh, protest this time is the, it was so tribeless, you know, it wasn't about tribe. Normally in our country, we have a lot of fights because of tribalism, we, people fighting because they are supporting their own. But this time things were different. There was no Kalenjins, there was no Luos, there were no Kikuyus, there were no Merus, there were no Islams. You know, people went there as brothers and sisters and fought and rose to fight against the impurity that has gone through our countries, the selfishness, the corruption and all that. And it was also so beautiful to see our celebrities going to the streets also and supporting um, the youths, the Gen Zs and all that kind of stuff. I'm really hoping that a change will come and I didn't get a chance to watch um the interview with the president and the journalist because i feel like nothing good would come out of it you know and like i said i'm not a political person but i've been seeing snippets of it that people got to record and it's so sad to hear some of the things our president um how he responded to some of the questions that he was being asked it's really really sad to hear him answering those questions in such a manner but that being said we continue praying for our country and we continue hoping that everything will turn out for the good of our people our youths that we will find jobs that they will create employment that they will listen to uh, the youth cries and you know our country is gonna be best you know we don't lose hope and it is my prayer that things will be right this time Those were my two sentiments for this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching the video and I hope that you stayed until the end. Let's continue praying for our country Kenya and above all, let's continue praying for the whole world at large because a lot, a lot of crazy things are happening. A lot of things we are hearing, a lot of things we are seeing and we hope and pray that God will heal the world and make it a better place for us to live in. And also let's embrace change and embrace just treating each other differently and with kindness and above all praying for each other because it starts with an individual before it goes to a group you know this is where I end this video and I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope that will be soon and I hope you take care and have a good time I'll see you next time bye bye